The government will say to you that the pension bill currently stands at $100 million. This, of course, uh, again, has not been substantiated, neither by an audit, because Lord knows every year there is some, a couple hundred or thousand of dollars missing from the Treasury through fraudulent uh, means by our very own public officers, which means then that this hundred million dollars, if this is what they're paying out, could very much include fraudulent transactions. In addition, we have to ask the question, why would you join pension reform to increments? It's two different things. It's two different things. What Belize need is a tax reform as the current tax regime, as I stated earlier, is burdensome on us at 25%. What has us here, comrades, and the wider public listening, is the poor fiscal management since 1981 by the PUDP. The joint union position, in closing, is that no public officer currently employed in the public service is to contribute to any pension fund. No public officer currently in the public service is to contribute to any pension fund. No teacher, no police officer, no coast guard, no public sector worker will contribute to any pension, uh, contributory pension fund. And the Ministry of Finance needs to get that straight in their head. So whenever it is that they rush the establishment of this pension scheme, which the Prime Minister informed that he wants to roll out by April the 1st, 2023, what? it must be aimed and geared at those who will come into the service thereafter.